I feel like she would just fall off the side, so we'll see. And today I am struggling, okay? I am. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've refilmed this like 6,000 times, but we're doing it anyways. Because today we're going glamping. Hence the weird glam-ish sweater look. Not because I'm freezing when it's like 500 degrees outside, because that would be weird. Anyways, ah! today we are going to be checking out this really heavy, brand new two-in-one LOL surprise glamper. Now because it's so big, I'm not even going to attempt to film it the way I usually do. Instead, we're gonna check out the package right here. I'm gonna open the side, do my best to remove the items without dropping them, and then switch to the table where you'll be able to see it better. I picked this up at Toys R Us for $150 Canadian before tax, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna cost $100 in the US when it finally hits stores for good. I say this because it was leaked a few weeks ago on Amazon as a pre-sale for $99 before they took it down. So, unless they change the price when it finally comes out, that's what it should be. This right here is the first ever vehicle for your LOL surprise dolls, and you'll be able to use it with both the regular size as well as the new OMG ones. Recommended for children between the ages of five and eight, the new Glamper will have over 50 five surprises, more than 10 hangout areas, and includes an exclusive doll. This front section of the glamper will separate into its own car with a DJ booth, working headlights, and a horn. And then the back will open up into a two foot by three-ish foot play area, which will include a two-story water slide as well as a light up pool. Let's see what else is... That could have been bad. That was definitely a sign if I ever got one to stop whatever it is I'm doing and instead of focusing on what's gonna come in the box, I'll just open it up, pull out the glamper and put it down on a table where everything is sturdy and safe. And for that, we're gonna need some scissors. I sound like Johnny Bravo. Really? That is surprising. This 10 pound heavy plastic object is held in by only one piece of tape and surprisingly did not manage to break out in the countless times that I've dropped it. So I was pretty lucky actually. Inside the flaps, we've got cardboard. <laughs> On top of the glamper, we have a little cardboard tray. We'll check it out better in a few minutes, but it comes with a sticker for our exclusive doll, stickers to decorate the glamper, and our instruction manual. Whoa! Ah! Here is my 10 pound glamper, and I'm already really happy because it's such a great color scheme, but guess what, guys? It's still really heavy, so I'm just going to put this down right there. And now that it's all packed up again, we can just drive our way out of here. Down to the table. All right, we are at the table and the glamper is still very, very large, so I've got a weird angle and I'm sorry, but this is gonna have to do. To make life easier for us, we're gonna start with our stickers and instructions. Now, just like the LOL dollhouse, we've got a bunch of different stickers here that we can use to decorate the walls, tables, or inside of the fridge and stuff like that so that it looks like there's real things inside this glamper. Next up, we have a big sticker of our exclusive doll and her name is Strut. And lastly, the instructions. The first page shows off all the contents that we will get inside, so if you wanna be surprised, do not pay attention to this. The second page shows that we are going to need six AAA batteries, which are not included, as well as a screwdriver to get the functional bits of this glamper working. Moving on through the rest of the instruction manual is just showing us everything that we can do and minor things that we'll need to set up to get this toy ready to play with. Check it out, guys. It's a brand new car. All right. Uh, ow. That's a new one. I totally just hit myself with a screwdriver. Let's get our first view of everything. On this side, you see the side with a big ovular, yep, making that up, window with some cool white and black wiggly squiggly striped curtains, as well as a smaller one. Lots of little teeny blue rivets, a big pink band around the center with some wavy lines through it, a small pale yellow light, big black tires with gold hubcaps, and some broken hearts. And just around the wheel wells, we have this nice teal little color band with some rivets. And just beside those on the front and back, we've got some more faux lights. We also have a door that opens. On the front, we have a big wide open windshield area. We can even turn the little steering wheel. Pretty cool. Some fake little windshield wipers with a gold bit there. We've got a big gold grill, two big yellow lights with eyelashes on them. We've also got a gold license plate, which says LOL OMG. If we open it up, there's our first blind bag. I'm just gonna take that out in case I forget to find it later. This side of the glamper looks exactly the same as the first. And once again, we can open the front door. Here is the back, and it has the exact same license plate surrounded in gold. And we have two little red tail lights that look like eyelashes. Now I'm just gonna turn this on its side and add my batteries. The batteries are in, and now we're gonna push this little button right here to separate our glamper into two. Here's the front section of the glamper. It became its own separate vehicle. 
and as you can see the back wheels are dragging along the ground so we're gonna need to fix that and we'll do that by taking the wheels and setting them downward and now it can drive ah no it can't hold on lock it in and now it can no <laughs> hold on Jen's got this we've got this hold on don't make me look crazy it doesn't really lock into position very well it's supposed to form this little Z shape in the back so that the wheels don't pop out but um, that's not really working so anyways right now it's locked into position just don't zhuzh it too much behind the seats of the actual driving area we have two very large circular gold speakers and they've got squiggles triangles and circles all over them that definitely replicate the design that was part of the LOL dollhouse. Between the wheels we have a hot pink quilted cushion with a little pink pull-out drawer and according to the instructions we can put our phone or other small device there so that we can have our little party. Above the pink area we have a little gold DJ section which does pop up at one level for the shorter dolls and a higher level for the OMG size dolls. Ta-da! Wait where's my phone? Hey guys! Welcome to my party. Woo! I did not mean to tip it in such a fashion. Let's try that again. Round two. Hey guys, welcome to the party. Let's go glamping. Woo! Okay, I give up. Moving on. Opening up the door, we are going to remove the cardboard from our seats. I didn't say remove the seats. Where'd it go? Here's our seat. Looks pretty awesome. Oh, we don't have to attach the seatbelt. It's already attached. And it's like a black elastic rickrack. Ah! Where was that button? Was it this? Oh, it's the steering wheel. To be honest, that's perfectly normal. Why am I freaking out? Auga! I don't know why I just did a duck. Let's close this up. The inside seats are blue. There's a little heart speaker in the back here. The backs of the seats are hot pink with our black little seat belts. The steering wheel does have a broken heart on the center of it. On the top of the front dash, there are two little speakers and this one here pushes in. I'm assuming it will be our lights and it is. They look like eyes. The passenger side seat does fold down. The driver's side does not and that makes sense because there is of course a giant steering wheel in the way. It's hard to see because it's dark in there but there is a little sticker on the dash and it looks like they're driving to San Francisco. There's also two big cup holders and it looks like it'll be the perfect size for the LOL bottles. Now that we've checked all that out, I'm quickly just going to put some characters inside because I want to see what it looks like when they're driving. I guess you're supposed to stop honking at me. Let's just take that out first and go back in. Get in. Where's her feet? Her bum is not even on the seat. Can you see this? What is she stuck on? Oh gosh, I'm legitimately working up a sweat right now. Okay, they definitely fit better without the shoes, so I'm just gonna take them off because there's a curvy section underneath the steering wheel and their shoes are literally just getting caught. So let's try this again. Put in our doll, much better, and reattach her seatbelt. So I've gone ahead and put Neon Cutie and Neon Kitty inside the car, and sadly they cannot sit down. So this is a very unsafe representation of how to behave inside a vehicle, but since it's a toy, we'll let it slide. Just never sit like that in a real car. And this is what it looks like from this side. I've got Neonlicious waving like, hey, get out of the way, buddy. And now that we're done putting the dolls inside, all we have left to do is open the blind bag that was hidden in this compartment here. And we've got ourselves a black and red Grillomatic. Ah, hold on, <laughs> I dropped the gold grill. Let me just put that back inside. Try that again. And we've got ourselves a red and black Grillomatic with a gold rack inside. And because I don't want all these things to get misplaced at the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it back inside and also figure out how much space is in there. Wow, it's actually really good. It goes up to here on my wrist. So we'll be able to store quite a bit in there. Close that up, turn on the lights, give a honk, and see those ladies later. Actually, to be honest, they're in the way. So we'll see them later in this direction. Bye! Now we're gonna move on to the back of the glamper. And because it's going to expand and get much taller, I've had to change the view so that you don't miss anything. But this is what we're starting with. There are only two wheels back here, so nothing is gonna pop out from that side like it did on the front. But things are going to pop out from the top. So that's where we're gonna start which will become a little bedroom area with bunk beds. One is hot pink and the other is more like a coral color. In between the bunk beds, there's a sticker on the wall with some books, broken heart, a little phone in a dock, and then four little LOL balls. And then above the top bunk, there's a little sticker window with a night sky and some stars. Now moving back down, we're gonna expand the glamper to show off the insides. This is getting pretty big and I have to say I am a fan, but I am also running out of room. Here we go. Ah! Everything is falling apart on me. Woo! <gasps> I broke the door! Please stand by. 
All right, it never even happened. Although when I was trying to put that one back on, I broke off the top one and had to stick that back on too. But hey, it works. Now we are inside the glamper and there's lots of stuff happening on the walls and everything else, but I'm gonna put that out of the way and we're gonna check out what is in the blind bags first because to be honest, they're everywhere. So first up, we've got a really big bag with a teal water slide. And they've got little bubbles all through it so that it looks like it's covered in water. We've got four large hot pink blind bags, two pink and black striped blind bags, and six light blue ones that look like little backpacks. Those are pretty adorable, and to be honest, I think I wanna open them first. So that's what I'm gonna do. I feel bad ripping them, but I have no purpose for them after. Ah, I dropped it! Here we go, cut off the bottom. First up, we get two records. This one here is called Purple Tears, and it's definitely inspired by Prince's Purple rain. Secondly, we've got a gold one called the Queen of Rock and Roll. Next up, we have three placemats, hot pink, blue, and light pink, and they're all decorated in stripes, squares, circles, and triangles, and each of them has a napkin, a gold fork, and knife, and they're made out of a thin plastic. Next, we've got two gold hangers, and they're of full body pieces, so you'll be able to hang dresses, pants, coats, shirts, or skirts that are for the OMG size dolls, and we also have two smaller gold hangers, which is for the LOL sized clothing. Second blind bag. We've got a little mason jar bottle. It's a pearly translucent blue with a black top. Number three. Here's our outfit for strut. It's a one piece dress with pink and black gingham, off the shoulder sleeves and two black flowers on top with a roughly black lace skirt along the bottom. On the back, you can see how high it goes up and I just wanna point out that in real life, this would totally show off her bottom. Number four. We've got another piece for strut. It's a light blue, big poofy hair bow. Number five. We've got tall black platform boots with gold studs and buckles and blue tipped toes. And now our last blue blind bag. Inside we've got our two side mirrors for the front car, as well as our keys for the dash. All we'll have to do to put these on the front is peel off the plastic covering the mirror, and then just pop those in on the sides of the doors. So you don't really need to see me do that, you'll see it when it's done. So I stuck those into the side of the door so that they fit, and it's hard to see, but I've also plugged in the key. And it doesn't seem to do anything, it's just decorative. And now we'll move on to our two pink and black blind bags. The fronts of them are decorated like a little sleeping bag with a stuffy, so I'm assuming this is going to be our bedroom stuff. Whoa, that is not a bedroom thing. It's our doll. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, hold on. Zoom in. Here is Strut. She looks so cute. She's got a light brown complexion with really pretty coral hair, which is up in a ponytail. And there's a black streak coming down through the front of her bangs. Moving on to her face, she's got brown eyes, light pink lips, and a little French mole, and pretty decently spaced eyebrows. When it comes to any paint, scratches, or defects, everything looks pretty good, excluding a bit of color that's coming off her hairline on the left side. Moving on to her body, she's got a two-piece bathing suit. The top is black with that same pink and black gingham and black lace for the sleeves. And for the bottoms, she's wearing black with pink details, black lace, and two pink and black gingham pockets. And for some reason, she's got a little skull tattoo in the small of her back. That is interesting, for sure. Now I'm just gonna quickly check to make sure that none of her arms or legs are glued in place. And I'm very happy to say they're not. And now I'll quickly get her dressed so we can see her completed look. Ta-da, there she is. She looks like she's headed to her first day of kindergarten at a punk rock school. Do, 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 do. Moving on to our second pink blind bag. Once again, decorated like a sleeping bag. This one's a lot squishier, so I'm thinking this must be our bedroom stuff. Hooray, it is! Inside we have a very long light green with black squiggly striped blanket, as well as a matching green pillow covered in a whole bunch of shapes like triangles, circles, squares, little dots, and squiggles. Next we have a small coral and black squiggly line striped blanket with a matching pillow, also coral, with some little black squiggles and pink, green, and light blue circles. And lastly we have a hot pink with black striped squiggle blanket and a very stripy black pillow with hot pink circles, squares, and triangles to match. And here they are, all together, flying away. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And now we'll move on to the last four blind bags, which are hot pink. Start with this one. First up, we have a vanity chair. It's coral on top with a gold backing, and then a hot pink and black base. And the top is defective. I'm just gonna rub it a bit and see if it comes off. Uh, for the most part, it does. All right, I'll let it slide. And that's gonna go over by our vanity, which we will check out further in a few minutes. Second blind bag. 
is a really cute little TV. Oh, we've got a lenticular sticker. That is actually so cool. That means when we change the angle of the TV, it'll make it look like the dolls are dancing. It's pink all over and it's got little black and pink bunny ears with gold little speakers, buttons, and knobs. And along the bottom it says cinematic. And we'll just put that over here on the table for now so we can move on to our other blind bags. We've got a mini blue Coolomatic fridge. It says it right along the top of the door in gold as well as on the side. The door is see-through and the racks inside are gold. And we'll get to put some stuff in there soon. And finally, our last blind bag. We have a doll stand. It is black. I'm assuming it's gonna go here, so that's where I'm putting it. And we've also got a black ladder. And I think this is gonna go up to our bunk beds, which are up here. So let's just do that. There we go. And now since we're here, I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate my bunk beds. Here's what it looks like so far. I guess I could have put the hot pink with the hot pink bed and the coral with the coral bed, but I feel like it gave more of a contrast. So that's what I did. Now we'll do a little quick tour of the inside. Here is a little spot for our hang next to the vanity, which has a mirror. So let's just pull back the film. That wasn't annoying at all. And we've also got a big tall mirror here. So we'll take that plastic off. We've got a black tabletop lined in gold along the sides and four drawers on the vanity, which are black with hot pink knobs and all of them open up so that we could put things inside. We've got a heart shaped mirror lined in hot pink with faux lights and backed by gold tiles. And then the inside of the back wall has formed plastic to look like nail polish, sunglasses, little mannequins with hats on them, photos, necklaces, perfume, even some little purses and hands bags. And then I almost missed it, but there are little faux lights on top as well. And that right there is our little vanity area, guys. So I've expanded the glamper to its fullest height of two feet, which has exposed more hangout areas for us to check out, which means we can also start decorating. Let's start with the dance floor just so we can move it out of the way. It's hot pink and it's got a rotating gold surface with a spot for a regular size LOL doll, as well as the black stand that we added to support an OMG sized doll. And then just on the right side of the runway, we've got a sliding bar which will make our dolls spin when we move it. And since I have strut right here, we can try it out. Let's just take that off. Here we go. That's a good way to get dizzy. Oh no, Jen's moved us again. Yes, I did. But only to show you that if you want to, you can also extend the runway out further and pop out this little coral kitty platform to support the weight of it. And that way you'll be able to use both the pool and the runway at the same time. And now since it's open, let's check out the pool. And here it is. I'll take it out so you can see it. There are a few steps leading downward and the bottom is tiled and it actually has some little lines and grooves on it. So it feels kind of cool. And there are also two gold handles on the side, which will help us to pull it out of the actual playset when we need to dump the water. And just before I put the pool back in, I'll point out that there are four lights that will be underneath it. So when we hit the button, we should see them glowing through the water, which I'll put in soon. And changing it up again, I'm here with the water slide, which will connect from the floor of the bunk bed area down to the pool. So let's just go ahead and do that. Ta-da, there it is. Let's give it a test. I feel like she would just fall off the side, so we'll see. Well, it wasn't off the side. Try that one more time. And she sticks the landing. Excellent. The only thing is you will not be able to leave the water slide attached when you push in the runway. So just make sure you've dumped out your water and you disassemble your water slide. Now we'll check out our little cafe area. When you first get the glamper, the table will actually be attached to the wall by this little gold knob and these will be flat. Here's our cafe. And just like the vanity area, this back plastic has molded items all over it, which includes a coffee maker, toaster with bread, jams, mugs, various plates of all sizes, sugar, a blender, muffins on a tray, and even a little stand mixer. We've also got this framed little wall area, which includes a shelf with little cactuses and a teal background, as well as a pink cork board, which we could decorate with some stickers in a few minutes. We've got a little white table that's got paint blobs all over it in black, pink, and blue. And this is attached to the wall by a hinge. Attached to the underside of the table are three stools, which are white, black, and coral. Since we're in the cafe, we might as well put our placemats out. Pink, blue, and pink. And now seems as good a time as any to open up our plates. And we can save this stuff for the grill. And here they are. We have two hot pink square plates, two triangular coral plates, and two circular gold plates. And all of them have stripes, polka dots, circles, and triangles. We'll just throw them on the table. I'm sure somebody will clean up later. And since we're over here, we can take our cool matic and put it on the little shelf here. There are some faux lights underneath the ceiling on this cafe as well. And now I'll just go ahead and start decorating. Let's move that out of the way. 
Here's my little fridge. It would have been really cool if the stickers were those clingy film stickers. That way you could stick them on the back or put them on the front if you wanted. And then you wouldn't feel bad about putting items in the fridge and blocking them. Now I'm going to put some food on the plates. So we've got some spaghetti and meatballs, steak and a drumstick. We've got a hot dog and french fries, as well as the perfect hipster breakfast of avocado toast and fresh fruit. And then we've got some mac and cheese and shish kebabs. And there's also one little lonely s'more and I don't know who to give it to. So I'll just keep it there. I've added some more stickers to the back wall and now we just need to add our TV and our cup. And we can move the center stool to either side. Of the cafe is complete. And since we're decorating areas, we might as well add our vanity items to the vanity. So we have this clear little makeup brush holder as well as some very colorful, oddly shaped makeup items. So I have no clue what this is, but it is coral pink with a black top and I'm just going to stick it in there because that seems as good a place as any. Next, I have this hot pink coral and black makeup brush and there is paint all over it unfortunately but it is going to go right there and lastly I have this black squiggly double-sided makeup brush one end is pink and the other is blue and I'm just gonna put it in that spot I've also got some blue lipstick in a pink tube unless it's a lipstick shaped lid and a pink nail polish bottle I don't know but that's where it's going and the last thing is actually really cool it looks like a little cassette tape it's black with gold on the front but when we open it up you can see that it's meant to be eyeshadow with a little makeup brush so I'll just put that right there I've also gone ahead and dropped my lipstick slash nail polish. I've also gone ahead and added my hangers to this rack. What does she look like sitting at the vanity? She looks short. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Stop falling. Sit there. No! She's all right. Now I'll just add some stickers to decorate the space. There we go. Now we're back up at the bunk beds and I'm just gonna decorate up here with a few more stickers. Put our pillow and blanket back. And this floor section here is where we'll place our long blanket and pillow so that the full size doll has a place to sleep as well. And it's a little hard to see it in there, but just like the other rooms, this one does have plastic molded shapes on the walls. And underneath that bottom bunk there, we have a small dresser. And that's the end of our bunk bed area. I've reattached my water slide to the base of the bunk bed because if it's not there to support it, it will just fall directly into the pool. And while we're down here, we might as well fill it with water and test the lights. Which means I'll have to dim mine. Here we go. And there it is. We've got blue and pink flashing lights in a random pattern. And to be honest, it does look pretty cool. And I would be all about this if I could swim. Kind of surprised that it takes three AAA batteries to light up four teeny lights though. Now I'm just about ready to move on, but before I do, I'm gonna test out the water slide with a doll. And hopefully she lands directly in the water and not off to the side. Yay! Yay! And again. Yay! Three for three. Excellent. One last time. Four. Let's take out our doll and turn off the lights. To do that, there's just a little switch boop, underneath the pool. And you would be able to see it if this runway wasn't in the way. If you are done playing, I highly recommend you dump out your water so that one, it doesn't make a huge mess. And two, it doesn't add more weight to the already heavy 10 pound play set. Okay? Okay. You're welcome. Also, there's no rule that says you can't play with the pool outside of the actual playset. You could totally do both if you want to. Just saying. And there's actually only a few more spaces to check out. So we'll start by moving the bunk beds out of the way so we can check out the bathroom and shower area. Let's just pop that side down. Next, we'll flip out this toilet, which is pink and gold, and then quickly point out that there's also a gold shower head in the ceiling. Once again, we have some plastic images molded into the walls. On this side, we've got a hot and cold nozzle, some shampoo and body wash, and then also some tiles to indicate that you're in the shower. The floor is also tiled with a small little drain just underneath the shower head. And behind the toilet, we also have some pictures, which includes a hair dryer, a hanging towel, and a little roll of toilet paper. Turning our glamper around, we see a pink tiled floor with a pop out stand underneath it. We can hold it up. Oh, what just fell? That way this becomes a patio for us to have a little barbecue party. But in order to do that, we'll need some accessories. So we've got some black coal, which is covered in red glitter. It makes it look like it's on fire. That's actually pretty cool, even if it is coming off on my fingers. We also have two shish kebabs. Each of them has red, yellow, pink, and green food on them. And we've got two pieces of corn on the cob and a little gold pair of tongs. Let's practice our fine motor skills here. No! Huh? Huh? Okay, that's a good way to get burned. No, so close. Come on. No, <laughs> no food for you. Wait, there's still one more. Hold on. 
One last chance. We can do it, you can do it. Corn for dinner. <laughs> now we've only got a few more things to check out. One of which is this little stand that was holding up our patio area. On one side, we've got this little basin with a tiled section. So maybe it's a pet bath or just a feeding area. Not really sure because it doesn't show it in the manual very well or on the box. But in this direction here, we've got the underside of that basin as well as a little pillow and some pet toys. So maybe it's just a spot for them to lie on. If we flip it all the way up, you'll see this little laundry room area underneath. We've got a tiled wall, some bottles, some soap, a washer and dryer, a closet, some folded towels, and it looks like another little shower area because we've got a little shower cap and a loofah. And this little pop-up area here is the perfect place for our little pets to pop in and out of. In, out, in, out. Meow. Wait a minute, there's one more thing over here. I almost missed it. Ta-da! That's a very long diving board. <laughs> I'm just joking. If you pull out this plastic piece, you can use it as a diving board. And if you pull it out all the way, well then you just have a really cool over the water pathway that leads to a runway. Moving on. And then this spot right here is where the front car will reconnect to turn back into one huge glamper. And you know what? It's been a while, so let's do that. And just before I back the car up, I'm going to take my two new records and place them right on the spinning table. Ta-da! Oh no, they fell. See that? The seatbelt didn't help her. Wanna know why? Cause she was standing. Beep, 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 beep. Now we just need some bumper stickers. Madam Queen for President. Wash me. Perfect. We're ready. Now he's gotta turn her around. Hit the lights, sound the horn. Fix the kid and drive away. Bye. Okay guys, that is it. We have checked out everything and overall I am very happy with this product. I am not even going to try to lift up that heavy camper anymore, glamper, because obviously we've pulled it apart and took all these pieces out and decorated it, so it's just not gonna happen. Overall, I actually really like this camper, glamper. It's aesthetically beautiful. The color scheme makes me really happy, and I was really surprised at how easy it was to separate as well as reassemble all the pieces into a tight little glamper package. When it comes to the actual quality of the paint and little details, it all looked really good, and I didn't really find anything that to me qualifies as a defect. When it comes to the doll, I'm actually quite happy with her. She's pretty cute and she even had ear holes behind her ears to hold on her accessories. That's a big win for me. Moving on to the accessories and all the functional little bits that are included in this camper, glamper. I think that they are really awesome. Some of them don't make much sense to be counted as a play space necessarily, but excluding those very picky remarks that I might have, I do think that it is a really fun area and space to play in. And the fact that you have areas on all sides of the glamper does make me really happy. But it really does remind me of Goofy movies when PJ's camper just goes and all of a sudden there's like a bowling alley on top. But where is my helicopter? LOL, where's my helicopter? <laughs> The last thing that I want to touch on with the glamper itself is the fact that everything about it screams easy storage, pack up, bring your playset with you. Yet it is not going to be simple for a five to eight year old to just pack this thing up and tote it down the road at 10 pounds. Now, you're going to say, Jen, no five to eight year old is going to carry this down the road. But do you not visit your friends and show them what you got or invite them over or take things to grandma's when you go away for the weekend? And if you do, is it 10 pounds? Chances are no. Now, obviously your parents are going to help you carry these things, but I'm just trying to prove a point. It's really heavy, okay? It's just really heavy. Now, all jokes aside, in the end, I really do like this product, and I think that as long as you're willing to accept that price, whatever it may be for wherever you live, I think that you'd like it too. Dun, 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 dun. If you know somebody who would enjoy watching this video because they love LOLs, really cool, big, cumbersome 10 pound vehicles, or my videos in general, then please share this one with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below what you liked or didn't like and if you could change one element about this entire playset, what would it be and why? As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!